we do have a first alert that we're still tracking mainly because of showers and mist that's out there in Metro Atlanta. So I want to get right to first alert radar and kind of hone in on some of the areas that seen the higher concentration of showers. DeKalb County from Decatur down toward Lithonia and Stone Mountain. You're seeing the shower activity that's drifting toward the north and east. Rockdale County, you're also seeing some shower activity in Conyers if you have to hop on to I-20. And then for those of you in Henry County from McDonough uh, eastward, you're seeing some shower activity that's moving toward the north and east. So it's going to hit you again in Rockdale County in addition to Newton County. If you're in Covington, you're relatively dry now, but those showers will increase for you over the next hour or so. Here's a look at the bigger picture, and I'm showing you this because our rain that we're seeing right now in North Georgia is a part of a much larger system that's impacting like the eastern half of the country. And you can see this counterclockwise swirl in the clouds and the radar. That's the center of this storm system. We call this an upper level low. It's because it's located about 20,000 feet off the ground, but it's powerful enough to drive the snow that they're seeing for the north and the rain that we're seeing further south. This upper level low is going to take forever to move through the eastern portions of the country. So we have our rain that we're seeing right now. That's going to clear out and we're going to dry out for a few days. But once this low itself, the center of it actually passes us by at the end of the week, we're going to have to reintroduce rain chances. So we'll talk more about that in about 60 seconds. But let's first walk you through the rest of this day because our first alert will continue for the rest of your morning through at least lunchtime. That's because of a combination of scattered showers and mist that's out there in addition to some patchy fog, but it's mostly showers and mist. Either way, it's producing low visibility. So if you do have to get on the roads, that will impact you. And then from three o'clock and beyond, we're going to call it mostly dry. So if you do have anything you want to do later on this evening, it should be dry in Metro Atlanta for Wednesday. We're going to start at 47 and 60 on Wednesday afternoon. No rain whatsoever on Wednesday. Uh, our first alert again, dropping that today later on in the afternoon. Thursday, much colder. Colder air is moving in because of that upper level low. It's getting closer to us. So your high is only 49 degrees on Thursday. Friday, even colder with the high of 43 degrees. And Friday, you'll notice we've added a 30% chance of precipitation to your forecast. So that upper level low that I'm telling you about, once that passes us by, it's going to be just north of us on Friday. And that's going to bring another round of moisture with it. So notice what happens on Friday. We have green that's coming down to like Metro Atlanta. And we have some yellow that's up in the higher elevations of the mountains. This this means you could see a wintry mix in the higher elevations of the mountains only and maybe just some rain showers for Metro Atlanta on Friday. The coverage is only 30%. The rain chance is only 30% because uh, there's still quite a bit of time to kind of iron out the details, but we do want you to know that it's possible that we'll see some precipitation on Friday. After that, going into the weekend, the last weekend of the year is looking nice. Temperatures will be cool, but near average in the low 50s, partly cloudy on Saturday, mostly sunny for the last day of the year. A quick check.